In this video, I'm going to show you a neat trick for compressing PNG images that I kind of found out totally by accident. Now, in this example, I created a fairly large image picture of the eBay website, and it's pretty big in size, 341 kilobytes. 1329 by 749. What you do is you go to the site TinyPNG. Now before you roll your eyes, it's not about just using this site. It's a special way of using it. We'll go to that picture. There's the image. If you're familiar with this site, when you're done, normally what you do is you click the button to download it. But I found that if you mouse down and drag the download link and move it back over here, it will compress the image even more. And in fact, you can do it multiple times and save a lot more. Now, currently it's been compressed to 83.3. What I'm going to do is download it. I'm going to name it Tiny PNG Image 1, and then we'll just have a look at it for the quality. And you see it's still good quality, just like the original. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this several times back to here. Watch what happens. 83 kilobytes becomes 79. 79 becomes 78. 78 becomes 76. 74. You could do this as many times as you want, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to stop here. We're down to 71, and I'm going to download this one and name it PNG Image 2. And we'll look at that for quality. And you can see the quality is still there. None of the quality has been lost. But we did save a lot of extra memory. The original size was 344 kilobytes. The first download, if you'll remember, was 84 and our final is down to 72. So it went from 84 to 72 kilobytes. You saved almost 13, 14 percent extra just by dragging and dropping a few times like I showed you. 